Hey guys, Sandy here, and I'm super excited to be participating in the Mercy Tiara's 27 day challenge YouTube hop today. Um, I am going to do the stash dive challenge, so I had to do a couple things. I had to pick out some of my oldest pattern paper and then add two. So I actually have this pattern paper from Making Memories from 2004, so I'm going to use that. I decided to pull in some Chatterbox. No idea when this um, was made, but it is an old paper. And I also have a Graphic 45 from 2016. So not, not that old, but the 2004 I think is the oldest I have. A tool that I forget to use is uh, my mink. So I already actually ran through some paper in the mink. So I've got this foiled sheet already. Uh, stickers or die cuts that just just don't get used up. And I found these from my mind's eye. I also needed ribbon, brads, buttons, or eyelets. So I pulled out <laughs> eyelets and brads, not sure which one we're gonna use. And then alphas in a unique way. So I also pulled out these Making Memories Noteworthy chipboard alphas and they're from 2008. I also die cut a huge uh, kind of like lacy heart. So let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, first things first, got to apologize for the crooked angle of my camera. So I had cleaned off my desk yesterday and my uh, tripod got adjusted and I didn't realize it until literally this moment that I'm looking at the playback with you guys. Um, so sorry about that, I'll get that straightened out. Hopefully this video will still be good enough um, that you might enjoy it. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, so I decided that I was going to go ahead and cut off part of that heart die cut. I knew I didn't want the entire heart on the page. So I just went for it and decided to give it enough that you could still tell it was a heart when it was hanging off the page. Um, but it's not like this is a heart. So it's not like that. At least I don't think it's like that. Now I am using that uh, six by six mink that I did and I'm just going to go ahead and mat that. I'm just going to use it as a photo mat. And I think that that might be something that we forget about or especially I forget about with my mink is that I can just use any of these little toner sheets and things and it can just be a cool metallic pattern paper. So it's awesome. I decided that my uh, background paper needed to have a little shot of green in between the Harlequin and the um, the the Chatterbox paper that is reads like a solid, but it is a very very uh, subtle crosshatch print. Just felt like it needed that little bit of extra. Um, and since I had only pulled out this one sheet, I decided to cut out a little bit of it so that I could map my photo on it as well because I didn't just want the green in the background, I wanted to bring the green to the front uh, of the layout as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and map my photo on the green and then my photo is gonna get matted on that uh, minked paper. And while I am matting the photos, be sure to check out all the links down below for everyone who is participating in this YouTube hop uh, this season. We do this about once a quarter and it is super fun. Make sure you check out the Mercy Tiara Facebook group um, where you can find all of the challenges. Um, it is super awesome. Lots of challenges, lots of ways to get inspired, lots of things to like stretch your creativity and just really um, get you get you scrapping. And that's what it that's what it's all about, guys. It's like getting those memories down. So these are very old making memories chipboard uh, alphabets. So they were super easy to push through. And let's face it, the adhesive is just about 100% gone. Uh, so it was no big deal. You saw how easy that backing paper just peeled off. So I'm popping these all out. My original idea was to fill this heart with um, the letters in, in just like a random way. But I didn't go that way. Um, I decided instead to use the chipboard background as another photo mat. And I like the way it turned out. I think I definitely want to try this page again. Um, obviously a different theme, probably, probably some different colors and go with my original idea. It was gonna be a from A to Z, it's love um, kind of page. 
um, and then just go ahead and using all of those alphabets as decoration basically. And up there I was thinking, am I doing A to Z? What am I doing? So I'm going through these great uh, little die cuts and I'm trying to pick out the ones that will go with the page. Um, I'm not introducing the yellow from the die cuts. I could have I could have done that and I could have used a whole bunch more die cuts, but I decided I really didn't want to add yellow to this page. So I'm thinking about this um, rose cluster that's going to be down here on the bottom. And I'm thinking, do I need to add anything up to this side? And I decide that I do not. Um, that was a pretty quick decision. Ultimately decided about that. Now these um, foam stickers that the love, like I really, really tried to use these stickers. I even stuck them down on the page. But you know what, guys? They were just, they the scale of them was wrong. It just didn't feel right on the page. So they didn't get to stay. Um, so I decide that um, since I'm not doing the alphabets on the heart um, and I just have my kind of like my chipboard background as a photo mat, I'm, I'm going to change up my, my, my thought process a little bit. So first it was going to be from like A to Z, it's love. And um, then I was thinking about like maybe taking little, little work words you know, and making sure I had a work word that started with A and a work word that started with Z and just kind of like putting them on the alphabets as well. But I totally didn't do that. So I just went ahead and made my title um, from Add to Zebra It's Love. And um, they're just work words. Like obviously a store word is an ad and a device that I have at work is called a zebra. So I um, figured that would go great. And I figured um, I would have from Add to Zebra on the heart, and then I would make this It's Love over here on the upper right corner, um, just to bring some sort of fun and excitement over to that corner. But like I said, we totally changed this out. That doesn't happen. Um, so I'm pulling out um, the chipboard letters, and I decide to go with a capital A, um, just to really like emphasize the A to Z aspect of the title. Um, Somebody might not even get that. If you look at this page, you might not get that it's an A to Z page um, with the chipboard uh, letter background, but it's okay. Um, I know that that was my intention. Um, and if nobody else gets it and they just see a page and they have no idea what ad and zebra is, it's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm not worried. Um, I might add some journaling later. I did not add um, journaling on it yet. Um, and that's just because not every layout I create has journaling on it. I just, I just don't. Um, I know that, um, some of you are thinking I'm doing such a disservice to the future generations. Um, but sometimes my scrapbooking is just for me and my scrapbooking is not for the future generations. So, um, that might be a little bit of a selfish scrapbooker's thought, but it's honest and real and that's what it is. Now I pull out these um, gold tile stickers and I believe these are from Maggie Holmes and this is how I'm going to get my, um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the foiling because I didn't want to have just this foiling around my photo. I wanted to have it um, elsewhere on the page as well and this is a great way to add it. So I'm just making sure that one of my letters is going to kind of um, overlap this one floral up here. Um, I do have these two bright, darker pops of pink. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I brought it in because my arrow down here has this darker pop of pink and then I didn't have it anywhere else. Um, I was gonna have it up there on the It's Love up in the corner, but that does come off. So we don't wanna talk about that. Now this is um, a Nouveau glue pen. So it is a little bit runnier, like, well, a lot runnier than my normal liquid adhesive, which is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Um, I got this um, from my uh, Love From Lizzie subscription. I think I did it as an add-on just to try it out. And I like it for little thin things like this, for sure. Um, definitely not like a 
a go-to adhesive um, like I do with my um, Nouveau Deluxe though. So, but it, it stuck down these letters great, sticks great, has great adhesion, all that kind of good stuff. I decided to go ahead and add this gold ampersand um, really because I wanted to fill in that space and it looked cute there. Um, like it, there's no other reason that I put it there, honestly, you guys. So here I'm trying to bring in the pink over to the upper right corner and I'm trying to get the it's love down and you will see like I am committed to it. Like I'm going to make it happen. Um, I pull off the the foam letter stickers I even put them on the page but first I'm gonna mess around with this because I'm thinking maybe it shouldn't go up there because it is kind of big maybe it should go down here on the bottom and I just need to try out some things but I don't I don't I don't like it is what basically happens I do pull out that pink heart that I had tried earlier and then put back Ultimately, the pink heart makes it on the page, you guys. Like, it it had to. It just, I just felt like it had to. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. And then I decide, you know what? I really don't like it. I don't like that gap. Um, so I decide to pull it up. Don't like that either. Well, guess what? It's going back up in the upper right corner. And then I just go ahead and arrange my arrows. So both of these came from those um, that my mind's eye die cut kit. And then I think, oh, maybe maybe it just needs more up here. Maybe it just needs more weight. And I try this and I'm like, no, not, not that at all. So here I am laying down those foam letters and I try to squish them together so that they're really close um, because they are a little bit large um, and they're a little bit spread out on the backing paper. And then once I get it down, I realize I don't like the label. And then I realize I don't like that. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, no, 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 Sandy. So guess what? The foam letters come off. They go back on the backer paper. The banner gets pulled up and tossed to the side. Now it did pull some of the color off of my paper but at this point I'm okay with that because I really really disliked what I had going on there so now you know I'm touching my page because that's what I do I gotta touch all the things and then I'm like ah, I'll figure this out later I need to pull in some brads so I pull in these floral brads and I'm also going to pull in some teeny tiny little brads so I'm pulling all the making memory stuff today you guys um, I'm using my Making Memories Pokey Tool. I'm pretty sure these flower brads are from Making Memories as well. Um, do you guys remember Making Memories? Like that was one of my favorite scrapbooking companies um, back in the beginning. I just really enjoyed their products. Like they had great embellishments. Um, their papers were cute. I mean, I still have some of the Chloe's Closet collection. Um, their embellishments were spot on, like their, their metallics were awesome. Like they were just a great, great company. Um, and I really wish they didn't close because I would still be using their products if they were open. So I'm using those gold letter stickers again to write its love. Now I had run out of tees. So I took the number one and I just used my uh, white Signo Uniball pen and added the T line. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of these really pale pink brads and add them in similar to how I would add in enamel dots. And that thing in my hand is a Quick Cuts Quick Stick. Um, it's, the, it's like a quick picker upper. Um, it has sticky tack in it and you can twist and more sticky tack comes out as you use it up. It's really sticky. Um, I've had it since I had the uh, very first original silhouette, which was eight and a half by 11 size, you guys. Um, it is just, it has just lasted forever. Um, I do know that uh, Silhouette makes one now. Um, I've seen them online and I just really like it for like pulling out brads and such things that are in these little 
these little plastic cases like that. It really pulls out things easily. So I've got that going down. I've got my arrows down. I'm thinking that this is good. And after I do that, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys.